Hello everyone, welcome to the channel for everything Arsenal and everything football. Thanks for being here. I hope you're all doing well and welcome to the match day three match preview between Arsenal and Molde. Now, two wins out of two so far, 2-1 two win over Rapid Vienna and a convincing 3-0 win over Dundalk at home last week. And now we are on to the third match. So in this video, I'm going to be previewing the match taking a little look at Molde's season so far, Arsenal season so far, and of course, my lineup and my prediction at the end. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So we are coming from such a good victory over Manchester United on Sunday. Finally got that hoodoo off our back. Finally beat a big six team away from home. Finally got the better of United at Old Trafford. And we have Molde next. Then Aston Villa on the weekend and another two-week international break. So can we get another win? Let's hope so. This is this is what is at stake. Uh, Molde have actually won two games out of two themselves. And uh, we are both on six points. Rapid Vienna and Dundalk are on zero. So if we actually get the better of Molde, we can be three points ahead of second place. And if Dundalk and Rapid Vienna draw... We can be eight points ahead of third and fourth place after just three games. And that will probably mean if we beat Molde away from home in the next game, we can have everything done and dusted by the fourth game. And for the fifth game and sixth game, that is at home to Rapid Vienna and away to Dundalk, we can literally play all the young kids and even give a rest to the likes of Pepe, Shaka, Sabayas. Just basically rest the whole team. So... A win is very, very important, especially in a home game against Molde. Of course, we're expecting them to be more tougher than um, than Dundalk, give us more of a test attack, more than what Dundalk did last week. They'll probably even get a goal. I'm expecting them to get a goal. Last season, I actually played um, the Fantasy League um, for Norway, and I was actually always going for Molde players, and they did score a bunch of goals. So they're a good team this season, though. They've played um, 23 games and they've lost 7, so they're very bitter ball. You can get a few goals past them. That is something we have struggled with. We don't score that many goals this season, but we do keep clean sheets, so that is a good thing. Uh, Molde actually missed out um, of the Champions League by just away goals, if I'm not wrong. Um, they played uh, the Ferran Varos team. I hope I'm saying the name right. The team that is in Juventus group and Barcelona's group, they're actually playing Juventus on Wednesday night, so... That is the team that um, would have probably been in our group and Molde would have been in the Champions League. So they're also not um, a walkover, I'd say. So it's going to be a tougher game than what we've experienced so far this season. So let's hope we can get a win. As I've said, two wins out of two. Let's make it three out of three. Let's head into the Aston Villa game high on hopes. And um, let's keep winning. When you're winning, just keep winning. Let's hope the players we're going to put out in this game. I'm expecting a lot of changes. So... Without further ado again, let me take a look at what my lineup would be. So the other day I put out a predicted lineup of uh, what I expect Atita to do. I'll link it up in the YouTube card right now. Um, and uh, basically it's kind of the same as what I want us to go with. Last week it did work. Um, the back three with Shaka, Kolasinac and Mustafi that did work. Niles on the left, although he had kind of a poor game last week in the Europa League. And um, Cedric was, mm, I don't know, he was just okay last week. He wasn't really convincing that much like the other players. So this is what my lineup would be. Ranason in goal again, second game for him. Cedric on the right, Niles on the left, Kolasinac to partner Mustafi in the centre-back positions. Shaka and Sabayos, that is the only change from last week. Sabayos coming in for El Nene. That means El Nene has been promoted to the Premier League team, although I doubt he'll actually start over the weekend. I'm expecting us to go more attacking, so you could easily see Sabayo's party in the middle against Aston Villa, but I'll rest El Nene anyway. Did very, very, very well against United. Give him a rest for this one. Have Shaka, Sabayo's, and then Pepe on the right, Nelson on the left, and then Willock in behind Nketi. Of course, Willock can rotate with Sabayo's, and then Nelson can rotate with Pepe, as we saw last week. And then on the bench, you could have Leno. Leno, of course, you can have um, 12 to 13 players on the bench. So Leno, Heki, Tierney, Gabriel, Mohamed El Neni, Thomas Pate, Saka, William, Lacazette, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, and the young players Balagan and Smithrow. Now, 
I really hope we can get like two early goals in this game, two or three, and then in the second half, let's say we can take off someone like Pepe, bring on Smith Rowe. We haven't seen him play for Arsenal for quite a while. We can take off someone like Sabaos, um, who is expected to play over the weekend for me, and then bring on someone like Balagan, and then maybe even bring El Nini for a couple of minutes, bring Saka for a couple of minutes. But for Bameyang, Lacazette, Pate, Tieni, players like that, I want them to have a full dress, but. We allowed five subs and I'm expecting him to use all of them. So we could probably see Smith Rowe, Balagan, even Obamian coming on, Thomas Party, maybe even Saka, William, any of them. But that is my lineup. That is the same lineup I'd go for. One change from the lineup that faced Dundal class week. That is Sabios in El Nene out. I don't mind to really start there, but a defense, give Gabriel a rest. I need Gabriel fresh. He's only basically good fit defender plus holding holding i won't have him on the bench this time around because he just came from injury so let's have him fresh against aston villa and um i think this is a good enough team i'm hoping we can get um a three nil win but i'm going for a three one i think they'll they'll probably get the better of mustafa and kolasnash this time and get a goal somewhere so i'm going to go for a three one let me know in the comment section what your prediction is let me know what your starting lineup would be. And um, of course, yeah, what do you expect from this game? Who are you hoping will score? I'm hoping, of course, Pepe can get another goal for himself. And probably maybe Nelson last week played very well, but it was unfortunate not to get a goal. So that is my lineup and my prediction. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with the match reaction after the game, with the player ratings after the game, and probably even a build up before the game. So watch out for that. Thanks for watching. Keep staying safe, and I'll catch up with you guys later.